これが真っ黒けだがねこの引いとるのが<笑>ち,ょっとちょっとだけねうんよかったよかった私うわーどっちの海になっとるかなと思った Hello there, morons. It's Victor, King of the Morons. Oh, is this on 4K? I don't know what this is filming at.、Uh, oh, this is filming at 1080、uh, P at 80 frames per second. So you can like bomb it fast. So here is little Godzilla. Hi, how you doing? Hello. And we had a bit of a scare last night. I've, um, you're laughing. I've been,、uh, I've been, I've had a cold, right?、Uh, not a big one, but just makes me want to go to sleep by it. As early as possible. So I was actually asleep by 11 30 last night. Just after 11, I think. And I woke up at midnight with a loud boom. And the first thing I thought was, oh, the baby! Right? So I get up, and the, baby, the baby's crib, I guess I'll show you a video in a minute, but the baby's crib is it's a special crib we got from some north, where? Yoko? Some northeastern European country, I don't know. Some Some country where they, anyway, it's a good crib. <laughs> you can pull out the side and you pull out one, one, one side of the crib and it kind of connects to the bed so you can easily access the baby like this. See? No wall here. And,、um, and anyway, I thought the baby had slipped, you know.、Uh, but he, yeah, I mean, I thought somehow. Anyway, whatever. So I get up and my wife is on the floor holding her ear and there's like blood all over the floor. I'm like, oh my God. So, so, we, so I turn on the lights, right? Well, I turn on the lights and I see that. And she stands up, she goes, How bad is it? And she removes her hand. And I'm not going to show this, but it was one of those things where, like, you see those things on, on break.com, you know, like, it's so gross, <laughs> but you can't stop looking at it. So, right here, it's like this side of her face is cut. And it looks like someone took a scalpel and just cut along her ear, like, right in front of it, like that. And I was like, oh my God. And the first thing I think is, I cannot let Yoko know how bad this is because she's just going to panic. <laughs> so I looked at her and I said, okay, we have to go to the hospital right now. And she's like, what about the baby? And I'm like, oh, right,、uh, the baby, right? And I remember I just woke up, you know, I was, you know, I'm dazed and, and shocked and all this. So I grabbed the baby. I go downstairs, I grab a big white towel and I give it to her. I just I said, press this to your head. She gets in the back of, the, of our Lamborghini, and,、uh, which is what I call my black man. And the, luckily, we are really close to the hospital, like by car, five minutes, you know. So we go to the emergency room, and luckily, there's no ambulances there. And I park right across the street from the opening. And I go in there, and there's only two other people waiting, right? So. So that was really lucky. We went to a smaller hospital.、Uh, if we'd gone to the hospital where she had had the baby, apparently she would have had to wait like three hours or so. So we were really lucky. She didn't have to wait long. Maybe, how long did you wait, baby? 30 minutes? 20 minutes? 10 minutes? Okay, so、uh, Yoko just fell down and、uh, she split open her head. And you can, you can see.、Um, You can see, like, it's, it's, it's pretty deep. It's like, a, it's like a really deep, clean cut from here to here. And we're at the emergency room now. And this guy's not even waking up. And we called, like, just canceled work. And I tried calling everybody, and nobody's answering. Telephone right now. Okay. And it's 12. It's now about 12 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, yeah. Okay. But I was like, I'm holding the baby in one hand. My cell phone, I didn't charge it, so I'm like, okay, I gotta, I've got to make these calls count, right? So I called,、uh, I called her mother, but her mother didn't answer. So I called her, and her, mom, her mom's here right now. And. And nobody answers. And I'm like, okay. So I called a neighbor because we, we, we have some neighbors. You've seen them in the videos. And we called the, I called the liquor store lady. She wouldn't answer. It's right past midnight. It's like 12 04 right now. So、um, finally, got, I got in touch with her brother who lives down the street from her mother. They live about 30 minutes away. So he goes over to her mother's house, grabs her, and they come over with,、um, 
and they don't really know what's happening, but they grab some powdered milk that they just happen to have like emergency. Because the, the big question is what's going to happen with this guy, right? If it's just adults being injured, you know, it's not a big deal, but someone's got to take care of this guy. So, so I, I, I think I'm going to have my hands full, you know, holding a baby and I didn't, I didn't have a crib or anything. I just grabbed it and grabbed this guy. And, and luckily he's just sleeping. He's just sleeping through the whole thing. He's like, he doesn't even know what's happening. So, so, uh, they were really good. Um, we went, <laughs> we went to the, the, uh, they took us into the, into the, I guess, emergency room. Which looks like a cluttered, crappy office. Neyoko looks old fashioned. So it's really, it looks like a mess. And the guy says to me, he realizes I'm a foreigner. Ow, grabbing my ear. And he says, uh, wash. And I said, I said in Japanese, I can speak Japanese, so just relax. Just speak normally, please. Because he just says in English one word, wash. <laughs> Meaning, I guess, I guess he wanted to say we're going to wash the wound now. But, but it was pretty fukai. Kizu wa fukakata? The kizu is the, the cut or the wound. The wound was pretty deep. And it was, it was like, I, I, I want to describe it as it, it looked almost like, like someone had cut into like a, a, like a fish or like a, I want to say ika for some reason, because it was just so clean and firm, like the skin. It was just like, you could just see right into her head. Oh, it was gross. It was gross. But she's okay. They sewed her up. And uh, we were just joking. I said, tell, tell him you're a fashion model and that you, he's going to ruin your career unless they do a good job. So, but they did a pretty good job. It took a while. Uh, one of the neighbors came and held the baby, uh, helped me with the baby while I, you know, and they helped fill out the form, forms and stuff. Because uh, I can't hold the baby without a form, so. So filled out the form. Um, um, yeah, I was sweating like a pig just because of the, the rush, I guess. But um, then I had to go move the car because the car was parked in the street, right? And finally, anyway, long story short, the, his, her brother came, her her mother came, uh, her mother spent the night, and uh, I, uh, you know, while I'm waiting, I made her uh, a quick announcement on <laughs> on Twitter, uh, just in case there's certain people out, you know I wanted to tell because I have you know I have family all over the world, so um, so people actually found out from Twitter. They said, oh, I found out from Twitter. I had to call. I had to call my work and cancel, right? <clears throat> my classes this morning. Call the school, and um, yeah. But she turned out okay. She she feels fine, right? Yoko, you okay, right? She's like she's completely fine. But when I saw that, I thought, oh my god, it's gonna be. It wasn't so bad. It was a little bit of a scare. I guess the lesson to be learned is we have to be prepared. All the, all the, we have to have a like a bag ready to to get out of here. At any moment. You know, um, which we I guess we didn't. We just I just grabbed my wallet, but it was it was such a such a I guess panic that grabbed my wallet, put on my Crocs, which I don't like wearing for long term, and left my wallet in the car, like right on the right on the seat. Um, phone is not charged. That was a mistake. Didn't have my GoPro ready, and yeah, that's about it. But it was a bit of a scare, uh, but cool. Uh, we we survived, but you know when things like that happen, I'm I have that kind of imagination. Where I'm already seeing the future, like what's going to happen? She's in the hospital, or she or or worse, you know. Um, this guy alone would have been, yeah. but um, yeah. Anyway, that's our, that's our little vlog for today. Nothing, nothing else to add about that. Japanese hospitals, um, not that special. The, they had like three security guards behind them in the in the behind like a weird like guard room which is weird they're not very friendly you know but it's also you know midnight so they probably deal with a lot of whack jobs oh yeah when i got there like four or five salary men were leaving and they were standing outside right in front of the no smoking signs smoking and i was like i told them immediately say hey there's no smoking here so they like they stepped off hospital property into the street and continued smoking so I thought you guys are assholes, right? They're jerks, those guys. Anyway, um, I wish there was something more I could tell you that would be interesting about this, except that uh, this is a this guy slept the, through the whole thing. And <laughs> having an emergency with a baby is a, definitely a challenge. That's all. Thanks for watching, and thanks for everyone who sent us good wishes on Twitter and such. And talk to you guys soon. Say good night or goodbye.
We gotta go to the... Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the police office now because I found a, a wedding ring the other day on the street. And I've been carrying it around in my pocket. Yeah, let me do that. Where is it? Check this out. I found a wedding ring. Hold on. I'll show it to you. See? And I'm gonna go to the police office right now because we can't go to the hospital till 11. We have to go to 11 for another checkup. She's got to see a brain surgeon to make sure there's nothing wrong with the brain. I'm sure there's nothing wrong, but it's just a safety precaution. So this ring has the inscription on the inside. Of them. So someone who was married uh, last year, November 4th, and it's got a diamond on the inside. It's so tiny you can't see. I'm sure with that camera. But uh, and I can't actually read it. But one of my um, junior high school students uh, read it for me. <laughs> she goes, "Look, it says it on the inside." Yeah, I think I need a new prescription on my glasses. All right, that's all for now. I'm going to the police office. Police station, out the Coban.